Hi, I'm Nick from Music Tribe, and today we're going to be looking at the snapshots on your Wing console. So snapshots are used to save all the settings of your console, similar to how scenes would have worked on the X and M series of mixers. It is extremely simple to save your snapshot. First, we need to press the library button. Once in the library menu, we just have to press the save button on the right hand side of the screen. We can now give our snapshot a name. All available snapshots on your wing are displayed on the left hand side of the display. We will cover how to transfer these to and from a computer in a later video. When loading a snapshot, on the right hand side of the display will be all the settings that are going to be recalled. If there is a particular set of settings that you do not want to recall, for example the master channels, simply select these and then press on the boxes. When the boxes are grey, they won't be recalled. All that we need to do now is ensure that we have the correct snapshot selected and press the load button. You can also update the recall scope for this snapshot. This means that anytime you select this snapshot, the same parameters will be displayed to be recalled. You can also save specific channel, routing and effects settings. To do this, simply select the channel, routings or effects menu at the top. Saving an independent channel snapshot is done in the same process as saving a full snapshot. The only difference is you just select the channel that you want to save. Once the channel snapshot is saved, you can then load this to different channels. Simply select the channel and press load. Remember that the recall scope will allow you to select what parameters are recalled to this channel. Again, saving and reloading the effects works in a similar way. Instead of selecting a channel, you just select an effects bank. Finally, we have the routing snapshot. Again, use the save and load function to save and load your routings. Please note that this will not save the channel input routing. Instead, it will save routing settings such as your user signals and whether a channel is mono or stereo. Thanks for watching this video on how to use your snapshots. In the next video, we will be looking at firmware updates and data transferring. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notifications of when new content is available. Thanks again for watching.